The Three Little Pigs. The three little pigs lived like living at home, although their house was small. But when new babies came along, there just wasn't room for them all. It's time we left, the piggy said, and built homes of our own. And as they kissed her mom goodbye, she said, be sure to phone home. The pig set off, and in a field, they saw a heap of straw. I'll build my house of that, said one. Straw's nice and quick, I'm sure. The second pig looked all around and spied a nearby wood. I'll build my house of sticks, he squeaked. Sticks are really good. To build a house, the third pig said, I know the thing to choose. Not straws or sticks, but solid bricks. Yes, they're the things to use. And carefully laid his bricks one by one. He built four walls and then the roof. At last his work was done. Now close by was another house and a big bad wolf lived there. His fridge was very empty, and his cupboards were quite bare. The wolf had eaten all his food. That's why he was so big. I fancy something else, he said, and what I'd like is pig. He went to see his neighbor in his nice new house of straw. But the piggy saw him coming, ran inside and locked the door. Said Wolf, if you don't let me in, I shall huff and puff and blow your house down. Which he did, in one puff was enough. The piggy just escaped in time and ran around to his brother. And when the wolf knocked on the door, he, they clung to each other. They shouted, Wolfie, go away, he blew. They thought he might. The house of sticks came tumbling down. The wolf snarled, serves you right. He chased the piggies down the lane and would have caught them too. But their house, their brother shouted, in here quick, then slammed the door shut. Now I've got you, laughed the wolf. It won't take very long to blow this house down too. But this time, he was wrong. No matter, he huffed and puffed. The wolf just couldn't make the house fall down. The walls stood firm. They didn't even shake. I don't give up that easily, the sly wolf growled. Oh no, I'll climb onto the roof and down the chimney I shall go. Coming to get you, cried the wolf. Whether you're ready or not, he slithered down the chimney and landed in a pot, which was full of salty water, onions, carrots too. The biggest cheer, hip hip hooray, the wolf is in our stew.